The Secret Workers, Chapter 4. The next evening, Grandpa Joe went on with his story. You see, Charlie, he said, not so very long ago, there used to be thousands of people working in Mr. Willy Wonka's factory. Then one day, all of a sudden, Mr. Wonka had to ask every single one of them to leave, to go home, never to come back. But why? asked Charlie. Because of spies. Spies? Yes. All of the other chocolate makers, you see, had begun to grow jealous of the wonderful sweets that Mr. Wonka was making, and they started sending in spies to steal his secret recipes. The spies took jobs in the Wonka factory, pretending that they were ordinary workers, and while they were there, each one of them found out exactly how a certain special thing was made. And did they go back to their own factories and tell, said Charlie? They must have, answered Grandpa Joe, because soon after that, Fickle Grubber's factory started making an ice cream that would never melt, even in the hottest sun. Then Mr. Prodnose's factory came out with a chewing gum that never lost its flavour, however, however much you chewed it. And then Mr. Slugworth's factory began making sugar balloons that you could blow up to huge sizes before you popped them with a pin and gobbled them up. And so on and so on. And Mr. Willy Wonka tore his beard and shouted, This is terrible! I shall be ruined! There are spies everywhere! I shall be ruined! I shall have to close the factory! But he didn't do that, Charlie said. Oh yes, he did. He told all the workers that he was sorry, but they would have to go home. Then he shut the main gate and fastened them with a chain. And suddenly... Wonka's giant chocolate factory became silent and deserted. The chimney stopped smoking, the machine stopped whirling, and from then on, not a single chocolate or sweet was made. Not a soul went in or out, and even Mr. Willy Wonka himself disappeared completely. Months and months went by, Grandpa Joe. 